Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a cook and clean with me to give you guys some awesome cleaning motivation. And then I also have a really delicious baked ziti recipe that I'm going to share with you. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump in. Blue, and blonde, just a red. But some things you just don't realize Even though they're happening right in front of your eyes I'm not even sure just what went wrong All I know So I finally got some of these microfiber cloths in my latest group collaborative order and this new all-purpose spray in the radish scent and this smells really really good and clean I love it my peony one ran out a few days ago so I decided to bring out the new one and I absolutely love it and these microfiber cloths are a game changer instead of using paper towels to wipe everything So I got this carpet cleaner from the Dollar Tree the other day and I thought that this would be a good video to kind of show you guys if it works or not. So I had this coffee stain on the floor that had been there for a while so I decided to go ahead and test it out on here. I will say that the foam comes out really really fast on this thing 
but um, you guys will see that it seemed to work almost instantly and I saw that once it dried down a little bit more the stain was definitely faded so I would definitely recommend this product to you guys if you have any stains on your carpet. And then for today's recipe, I'm just going to be doing a simple baked ziti recipe. And what I love about this is it just calls for a couple of ingredients. I have some whole milk mozzarella just shredded. I also have some shredded Parmesan cheese, some whole milk ricotta cheese, but you can use the part skim. I also have some marinara sauce, any brand will work, some penne pasta, you can also use rotoni if you want, and then you're just going to need a splash of heavy cream, and then I also like to use a little bit of Italian seasoning. So one thing I also wanted to show you guys is this little trick that I know to help keep a bowl from spinning around on you when you don't have an extra hand. So you just take a kitchen towel and you fold it over hot dog style three times. Then you're going to wrap that around the bowl and tuck the ends underneath and then it's going to keep the bowl from spinning around on you. Just a fun little kitchen trick. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add in my ricotta cheese into the bowl and then I like to stir it up a little bit to make it nice and loose and then I'm going to season that with a little bit of Italian seasoning but you could also use some garlic powder if you would like. Then I'm just going to add in a splash of heavy cream to add a little bit more richness to the cheese. The next step is to add in a few handfuls of mozzarella cheese. As you can see this recipe I kind of eyeball it, but I will try to put more exact measurements in the description box for you guys. Once all of that is mixed together, you're going to add in a couple tablespoons of marinara sauce and you're going to want to stir it until it gets to kind of a light pink orange color. Now to make the cheese topping, I'm just going to put some Italian seasoning into a bowl and I'm going to mix that up with some mozzarella cheese and then I'm also going to add in the Parmesan cheese and then I'm going to toss that together with my hands. So now we can actually get to the cooking part. So I'm just going to salt some boiling water and then I'm going to add in my penne pasta and cook that until it is al dente. And while that pasta is cooking, I'm going to turn the oven on to 375. And then I'm going to take some of our ricotta mixture and I'm going to put a little bit in the bottom of the bowls I'm going to be putting it in. And then once the pasta is cooked al dente, or however you like, I'm going to go ahead and completely strain it out. And then I'm going to add in the ricotta mixture into the pasta and mix that all together. Next, I'm just going to spoon the pasta into the bowls and then you could do this in individual portions like I'm doing here or you could do it on a big um, ceramic dish if you would like to make it for a bigger group. And then I'm just going to take the cheese topping and I'm going to completely cover both bowls. Now that the pasta is completely covered with the cheese topping, I'm going to place both of those onto an oven safe baking tray and I'm going to stick them in the oven until the cheese is nice and melted. And one trick that you could do is you could turn your broiler on for just a few minutes so that you can get a little bit of the golden brown on top of the cheese. 
and here is how they look they were nice and melty and they tasted so good with that ricotta cheese I absolutely love this dish it's a great comfort food item that's really popular around here and that is going to be the end of today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and like I said before hit that subscribe button down below so you guys can know every time I upload a new video and I will catch you guys in the next one bye